For years, vaccines have been administered with needles and some tears as well. This is the way most vaccines could be delivered in the future. At least that's what medical device maker PharmaJet is counting on. Its needle-free injector is now being used in 37 U.S. states and a handful of countries. So it creates a precise uh, stream of fluid, and that fluid is the vaccine, and the vaccine is what penetrates your skin and goes to the right tissue in the body. It's fast, it's pretty easy to do, and it's safe. PharmaJet so CEO Ron Lowey says these devices eliminate needle stick injuries, needle reuse, and cross-contamination. They're also very good at delivering DNA vaccines, which contain a small part of a virus's genetic code. Those vaccines are injected into the arm muscle that triggers the body to make virus proteins. By injecting it into the muscle, you are allowing your own cells to produce those proteins, and ultimately that allows for a nice, robust um, immune response against it. A clinical trial of a DNA vaccine for the Zika virus is now underway. The U.S. National Institutes of Health is using this PharmaJet device on some 80 healthy volunteers. Everybody's trying a whole bunch of different things. Scientific work on Zika has ramped up considerably over the past year or so. It's pretty extensive. I mean, there are a lot of research groups just evaluating what's making that virus tick, what can we target insofar as what would be a good vaccine candidate. Zika therapies are also being studied. Commercially available drugs offer some hope. One expert says the neurological disorders associated with the disease are helping drive researchers. I think that that's probably why there's such a push because that's frightening and no mother wants to be you know, in fear of that. Lowey says his Golden no, so Colorado company could be part of the solution. We expect that there will be a vaccine that, uh, that's actually developed, and probably several vaccines. It'll be several years, he says, before scientists know whether a needleless DNA vaccine is one of the answers. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.